If your child has a 504 plan and has been hospitalized for psychiatric emotional reasons, it's a good time to think about have you told the school district? Mm -hmm. In fact, that's one of the first things you should do is make sure that you have. And Julie, many families neglect to do this. Sometimes it's because the hospitalization occurs during a school break or a summer vacation, and the parent doesn't even think that it's something that the school district should or would want to know about. But in fact, you, you need to let them know. Well, and also, Jen, in, in addition to that, if your child has a 504 plan, Plan, which um, is an accommodation. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a recognition that your child has a disability, but the disability hasn't risen to the level where mm -hmm. it's inverse, adversely impacting the education, so you don't have individualized education plan program goals, right. um, but you're just being accommodated or right. having modifications. Right. Some parents think, well, this new hospitalization may not rise to the level of anything more than a 504 plan. Right. But in fact, the new set of circumstances may change right. the status of your child's education plan. Right, and so the 504 plan, as an example, may say presently, it might say the student is allowed to have extra time on long-term assignments or something like that as, as an accommodation because let's say it's a student who's been struggling for a period of time with an emotional issue and or has been depressed, and so they'll say, well, that's the accommodation we're giving through the 504 plan. Well, now perhaps the child requires significantly more accommodation than right. that. Or there's a medication issue that needs to be addressed through right. allowing the student to access and things. There's lots of ways in which what's just happened could impact um, the 504 plan itself. Is the plan still appropriate? And again, then the next question is, is just having a 504 plan still appropriate? Right.